Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. Today, in continuation to our series on Spark interview questions, we'll uh, find out the difference between narrow and wide transformations. So these are very important questions and we'll understand it in detail. So let's start. So let's reiterate quickly uh, what are transformations. So transformations are the functions which you will apply while doing the data processing in the Spark world. You want to do any kind of filtering. Uh, you want to apply any kind of uh, functions, slicing and, and dicing on the underlying data. That's all been counted as transformations. And as you are aware of, the transformations are lazily evaluated until some action is called. So uh, transformations will not be executed on the underlying data set unless and until any action would be called. And all those transformation would be stored as RDD lineages in the form of DAG, which is dynamic acyclic graph. So some of the example of transformations are maps, filters, and reduce by key, group by key functions. Now let's see, guys, what is the first type of transformation? It is called narrow transformation. It is a lightweight uh, transformation. And uh, this is a situation where you don't have to move or shuffle the data across the nodes. So that uh, when you're trying to execute the DAG, your RDD lineage, uh, the computation is such that that all the partitions of data which you want to process resides in the same partition of the parent RDDs as well. So that means whenever you're doing any kind of computation on, computation on that data, it is applied on the same partitions. So there is no need to move the data across the nodes. So th this way we save ourselves from a lot of shuffling and shuffling is an expensive operation in a distributed system. Some of the examples as we discussed are map and filters. So if you see this particular diagram, this will give you a very clear picture what are narrow transformations. Here we have uh, two RDDs, RDD1, which is going as an input to the transformation, and RDD2 is produced as a result of the transformation. And here we have got two nodes where two different partitions are uh, kept, blue partition and the red partition. And when you uh, perform the transformations on top of this RDD, post-transformation also, the RDD which is produced, the partitions remained in the same node. So there is no shuffling happened here. The operations are performed within the same partition of a node. So this is, uh, this is the uh, explanation for narrow transformations. Now let's see what are wide transformations. Wide transformations are obviously uh, opposite to the narrow transformations. Here, the data is moved or shuffled across uh, the nodes in the cluster. And this may happen because of the situation that the uh, computation or the function or the transformation that we are trying to apply on the different partitions, they may live on different nodes in the cluster. The partitions may live in many partitions of the parent RDD, right? So this will result in the shuffling of data across the nodes. Some of the examples of white transformations are group by key and reduce by key. Let's try to understand the white transformation with this diagram. So similarly, here also we have two RDDs, RDD1, which is an input to the transformation, and RDD2 is the output of that particular transformation or function we are applying to do the data processing. Here we have got three nodes. They are carrying their partitions, partition one in node one, partition two in node three, and partition uh, three in node two. So we have got three nodes and three different uh, partitions are sitting in here. But when we applied the white transformation, the partitions got shuffled across different nodes. Now the partition three and two are also residing on node one, two, and three while initially they were grouped together as a single partition uh, data on one node. Let's take, try to understand it with an example. Suppose we are trying to uh, do a group by. Suppose this is the RDD1. On RDD1, say we try to apply group by function on a particular uh, 
column right now that column according to whatever would be the partition key may be sitting across on different nodes take an example suppose we have employee id and we have department now suppose id is the partition key and say ids are 1 2 and 3 so ids are sitting in say node 1 node 2 and node 3 with their corresponding departments but department is not a partition key right so now we are trying to apply the group by on the department function now to do the group by on the department function data needs to be collated across node 1 node 2 and node 3 so we'll have to shuffle the data and then do the processing and then we will when we will finally try to create the rdd2 the data now would reside across different nodes post the group by function right so guys this is uh, this is the two uh, flavors of transformations available in spark narrow versus wide transformation wide transformation obviously are expensive operation and the idea is to avoid them Sometimes it is imperative that we cannot avoid, but there are choices and different functions avail available in Spark, which help, uh, help us in minimizing the white transformation if, we, if in case we cannot totally eliminate it. So guys, that's it in today's video. Keep learning. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.